All right, so uh, I'm going to start reviewing. And so this is more, this first part is more of an overview of everything. And uh, so if you want to write this down, I would strongly encourage you to do that. If not, just pay close attention. This is not going to cover everything. This is just hoping to give you um, a bird's eye view of what we've covered. Okay. And it's not very detailed, but it does give you a good overview again, right? So converting between forms of linear equations, you should be able to move um, from slope intercept, right? Always move to the general. That's not, that shouldn't be a problem. Either you have a slope intercept or slope point, we can all be written, they can always be written as the general form and that is to be done algebraically, okay? So you have to show how to get there. Uh, that being said, you can also easily go from slope point to slope intercept, right? Slope point, go to slope intercept, and then if you want, you can go to general as well. So I kind of, in retrospect, I should have probably had this on the left, right? Slope point works every time, as long as you have the slope and a point, then you go to slope intercept, then you go to general. But the fact is that both of these can always be written as general, that stands, okay? And so the form you should recognize, right? Where M is the rise and the run, uh, a B, stands for the y-intercept, which is always going to be zero because x is equal to zero, right? And b, whatever the value of b is. And that's what we call our starting point when graphing, okay? Um, and slope point looks like this, where m is still the slope, is still the same. And x1, y1 is our starting point in that case if you were to graph, okay? And uh, and then, of course, the general, if I, if you were to, to ask to graph it, right, um, then in that case, uh, you can extract your slope this way. There's two ways, just knowing that this is true, or you isolate for y, which we did in our, in our notes in the lesson 4.0, 4.1, you rewrite it, and then you will come up with the same answer but you can simply extract it from there and also extract the um, y-intercept from there. And notice that both of them are divided by b, right? And both of them have their signs changed. And a always has to be positive though if you're rewriting it into this form. So in a sense, they're all connected, right? Um, and uh, what what is true is from slope, point, right, you can go to slope intercept and then go to general. You should know that. That is a classic way of doing things. Like you, you go get, let's say you're reading off of a graph, right? You start with that, then you go here, then you go there if you'd like. Uh, sometimes they give you enough information to get started with a slope point, and then you just need to do uh, uh, some algebra to make it look like slope intercept, and you stop there. Other times I'll ask you for general, you just got to keep going and make it look like this. Okay. And here we go. The next point I wanted to cover to find the x and the y intercepts for any form, it could be in any of these three. You just got to know that x intercept, you let y equal to zero. So the y variable disappears and then you isolate for x. So you'll end up, if they ask you for the coordinate, please write it down like this, right? That'd be uh, the, the whatever x value you get and y is equal to zero. If you're asked to find the y intercept, you let x equal to zero, then isolate for y and it will look like this. That's the coordinate of the points, okay? And um, further, to this, okay? If you're given two points and asked to find the equation, the first thing, remember what you need for an equation is the slope every time and you need another point, okay? So find the slope using the equation, then choose one of the points and sub them into these, this equation. Rewrite if necessary. Like if they ask for y-intercept, 
you have to keep going. If they ask for general, you have to keep going from this. And don't forget that, um, I don't know where we should add this. Let me just go back up here. Change the sign, right? Whether you plug it in there or you bring it out, they will always have opposite signs, right? So if this had been negative six, then over here, that'd be positive six. If this had been positive four, then it'd be negative four here, okay? So don't forget that. Let's go to the next page. Maybe pause and write down. To write the equation from a line, okay? Determine the slope by counting rise over run between two points, and they have to be exactly on an intersection, right? And then choose a point and sub into this equation, okay? And note that if the y-intercept is clearly identifiable, then you can use this, right? You, you know your slope, you know your y-intercept, and then you're done. You, you write to, if they were to ask for this anyways, then you're there, or if you prefer it, in that case, you're there. Notice that if, you're, if your line rises to the right, you will have a positive, right? The slope will be positive. If you have a line that goes down to the right, your slope will be negative. A horizontal line has a slope of zero. A vertical line has an undefined, right? Undefined slope. Okay, so because there is no <clears throat> there is no run, so it's rise over a run of zero. Can't do it. Use your calculator, right? Number divided by zero, you will get an error. And the slope of a horizontal line, there is no rise, therefore it's always zero, no matter what the run is. Uh, parallel per perpendicular lines, uh, two lines are with equal slopes, but different y-intercepts, that's important to add, are parallel and will never meet. Two lines whose slopes are negative reciprocals are perpendicular. So if you look at two, right, one line has a slope of two, the other one has it flipped and, and change of sign we would call these two lines perpendicular. Like this slope is perpendicular to that one. That's why we use that, right? If you do a parallel slope, you just do the two lines that run alongside each other. So that's it for this video. Um, I will uh, give you already uh, the pages you can work on. And there are the questions that I, you can go ahead and try. What I will do next is I will uh, go through the worksheet that I will be posting that looks like this. Okay, um, and uh, work through that actually so that you, that you know uh, what is to be expected for the test, all right?